So in AP Physics C, we're looking at the relationship between work and force, total mechanical energy, kinetic energy. Uh, and I made a Desmos simulation that I thought others might find useful or for my students if they want to play around. When you look, it has all these different lines. And at first, it's kind of confusing. The red one is the total mechanical energy. The purple one is the potential energy. The green one is the kinetic energy, like go. The dashed line here, the black line, is the force, and the orange line is the uh, speed. So you can toggle them off. So let's say we were to look at just potential energy first. When you look at the purple curve for potential energy as a function of x, um, you can actually change what that function is right here. You can type in anything you want, but uh, I chose to make it like a quadratic but a third order. And uh, in the beginning, I have it set so that just the A term so is 5. So that's kind of like having a spring force with a K value of 10. And you get this shape. As you know, the force uh, is the negative of the derivative of the potential energy with respect to x. Because the force is related to the rate of, the rate of change of the potential energy. And when the conservative force does positive work. There's a negative change to potential energy. Uh, so if I check this, it takes the derivative, and you know you can you can see that. So like here, we've got a negative slope on the u, which gives us a positive value of the f. And over on this side, we've got a positive slope of the du dx, which gives you a negative value of the f. In fact. If I go slightly out of order here, and uh, we scroll down, I have an area of fit. And when you check this, what you can see is it highlights the area uh, between desired positions. In this case, we have I and F at 0 to 1, although you can drag it to, to, to be whatever you want. And you can see visually, looking at this purple, that there's been a change of 5 joules of potential energy. And if you look at the work done by the force, this uh, triangle here, minus 10, 1, half that. So that's minus 5. So as you know, we it would expect the work done by the force in this case is negative 5. And the change in the potential energy associated with that force is plus 5. And we see that over here. The uh, integral for that black area is minus 5. And the change in the potential energy evaluated at those two positions is plus 5. I also like that I can click on this value here and it will uh, it will give you the potential energy at those two places which is kind of fun. Uh, you can move these back and forth if you want. Okay, let me uncheck these. And I'm actually going to toggle off the area stuff. So um, if I uncheck this, and now I look at it just, and I'm going to take the force off because I just want to look at the energies now. And uh, I'm going to toggle on the total mechanical energy, which is that. Uh, this little dot. And the reason I put that there is that's a slider that I can now use to change the total mechanical energy of the system. Uh, if I check the kinetic energy, you'll see the kinetic energy is going to be the difference between these two. So again, we can toggle it back and forth uh, like so. So these are the energies. And if you did want to see what the, kin or rather the, not the kinetic energy, the uh, velocity is, you can toggle this, and that's the orange dashed lines. So I kept it so solid lines are energies and the dashed lines are other things, force or velocity. Uh, X1 left, X2 left is just controlling the, the range over which you uh, want to uh, look. So I'll keep that eh, minus 2 plus 2. I guess the math term would be domain now that I think about it. But what if we wanted to look at another kind of relationship instead of a, you know, just one half kx squared kind of thing? The reason I wrote it as d cubed 
ax squared bx plus c is that I can actually change the values of these coefficients pretty easily. And I have slider bars for that here. And you can see that might shift it that way. In a class we can talk about it is possible to have a bigger kinetic energy than total mechanical energy because your potential, of course, can be negative. Or if I play with the D term here, maybe I can get it really funky. Yeah, look at that. But everywhere, the kinetic energy is the difference between the total mechanical energy and the potential. And I can quickly change the total mechanical energy by raising or lowering that, that red bar. And I made a second scenario. Uh, I also did it in such a way that if you want to add more scenarios, you can. You basically just keep copying my formulas and changing the subscripts. Um, and with scenario two, let me turn off one first. What I made is basically uh, a x to the n power. So like right now I have a set at negative one for the power, kind of like an inverse squared relationship like gravity or electrostatics and the potential energy would be a negative one power you know, sort of one over r one over x and we get kind of the same thing now i chose to not show the negative uh, to the left of x equals zero because you know i was thinking about it like gravity where you know you can't really have negative distance you're, you're always some positive distance away but you can Move it to the left if you want. You know, so you can see that. Um, right now everything's on, so if I toggle off the force, so they'll look at the force, it is the negative of the, the value of the force is the negative of the slope of the u of x. But I want to look at the energy, so I'm going to toggle that off. And while it's nice to see the velocity, I'm going to remove that. Actually, let me make that dashed to be consistent. Uh, but I'm going to toggle it off. And now I've got the, the three energies again. And now it's kind of fun. Like, well, let's look at when we toggle this power that we have for our uh, u of x here. And uh, now that's negative one power. What if I go to something like positive? Or what if I go to n equals 2? You get exactly the same relationship we saw before because it's the same formula without any of the other terms anyway. It's just we're only looking at the right half of it because I have uh, x left set at zero. But if I set it to x equals negative three, you get exactly the same thing. Uh, you could, of course, type in some crazy potential energy function uh, over here, and it should work. Uh, I also like the idea that I could make screenshots of this and put it in quizzes or practice sheets or things like that to practice these questions. Um, you know, in this one as well, you could do the area. It's the same thing. Uh, you can toggle everything on and off. Uh, if you really want to know how to set this up, let me know. I know there are other people out there making really neat stuff on Desmos, but I've been on a real Desmos kick lately. Hopefully, uh, that is interesting. Uh, hopefully, this is useful to somebody out there somewhere.